want to know the secret to getting the most out of your days and really setting the path for an amazing life? Well, it all starts with what you do first thing in the morning. All right, guys, well, I'm here in uh, beautiful Ixtapa, Mexico. I'm actually uh, heading out today, uh, heading back home, but I want to share a really interesting, um, something very, very simple that if you get this right, everything else in your life becomes a whole lot easier. And this is something that I've struggled with for a long time in my life until I realized how important and powerful it was. And that all comes down to the fact that what you do first thing in the morning sets the table for everything else in your day. And if you don't start your day right, the rest of the day simply follows suit. So what I wanna share with you in this video is a simple, or my, my morning ritual pretty much, my morning routine that really sets me up and paves the way for an amazing day. Not, you don't have to copy mine, but I'm hoping this will serve as inspiration for really helping you create something magical in your life and in your business. So a uh, quick little story before I share my morning ritual with you. For the longest time, uh, one of my challenges was getting up early. And actually, I, I wrote a book called The All Day Energy Diet because when I was growing up, I had such a tough time getting out of bed. So I'd sleep you know, 10 to 12 hours a night and just you know, all that kind of stuff. So when I started to recognize the, the joy that I was getting when I was waking up first thing in the morning, I was like, I wanna do this more often. But the problem was that I was having a tough time doing that. Now, was that physically or mentally? And I'm gonna tell you something that in most cases, it's a mental challenge. And what I did not recognize at the time was that the pain of discipline is far more fulfilling than the pain of regret. And so what I went through was a period of back and forth of waking up at 5.30 in the morning or five in the morning. I'd do that for a little while and then I'd kind of get comfortable and I'd stop doing it. And then I started sleeping in again and then I went, then I had that pain again to be like, you know, like I gotta get up early in the morning again. But here's the thing, is that when I committed to getting up at five in the morning every single day of the week, here's what I did, is the thing that really helped me do that was I had to write some books, right? I had to write a published book, and I had to write three of them actually. And I decided, you know what? Why don't I decide? Why don't I just make my morning time my writing time? So between five and seven a.m., I would spend two hours writing. That was it. And I did that because I didn't want to let my writing get in the way of the rest of my business and the rest of my life. So I decided to do that first thing in the morning, and that really carved a beautiful routine that I maintained for quite a long period of time. And I was able to write three published books over 350 pages each in five months, simply because I was waking up two hours earlier than normal every single day. And if you think about that, if you add two hours to your day, every day, that's 60 extra hours per month. That is more than a full-time work week for most people. Do that five times, that's 300 extra hours over five months. What could you do with that amount of time in your life? So that was the real epiphany for me was, you know, if I could create a way to not only create my best work first thing in the morning, but also set my day up to win, I'm gonna to commit to that. So I wanna share my morning routine with you right now. So typically, what I do in the morning is I don't just jump right into work. I think it's actually helpful to, uh, to kind of set the mind properly. So I first thing in the morning, I get up and I actually follow a little uh, acronym that I learned called RPM, which is Rise, P, Meditate. So I get up at about 5.30, I go to the bathroom, I go downstairs, I drink about half a liter of water with apple cider vinegar or lemon, and then I sit on the couch and I do a 20 minute meditation. Now the 20 minute meditation is extremely important for me and I think it's actually pretty, pretty much helpful for any, like any high level thinker, entrepreneur, human being, is to help you kind of just quiet the mind, to help you focus on nothing, to focus on your breath, to be able to just kind of quiet things down and again, set the tone for the day ahead. So I do that 20 minutes. So then by just about six o'clock in the morning, um, I actually leave my house because I've got three young boys and it, sometimes they get up pretty early and you know it's, it can be distracting to work at home. So once I've done my meditation, I head over to Starbucks and actually there's a great Starbucks about two minutes from my house, so which is, uh, which is great. So I head over there and from six till 8 a.m. I do my most important work. Now, I wanna say something about this because your most important work does not entail answering emails, it does not entail checking social media, it does not entail any retro, not retroactive, but responsive type of work. 
So what you want to do first thing in the morning is focus on the most important thing for you to do. The thing that's you're, you're kind of dreading, the thing you would put off, the thing that requires the most mental energy, that writing, that creative thinking, the strategizing, whatever it is for you, that's the first thing you need to do in the morning, okay? If it's the thing you're gonna put off, that's the thing you need to be doing first thing in the morning because that is the most proactive thing you can do in your business, in your life, that is gonna move the needle forward in a big way for you. So for me, a lot of that's gonna revolve around some type of communication. So maybe writing, might be strategizing, might be building out some type of um, uh, stuff for our team. Uh, and so those are the things that I'm gonna do first thing in that six to eight time block for me. Now you might get up at four in the morning and you have a different time block, whatever, whatever works for you. But the key is that it's the most important thing. It's not menial work. And to help you with this, there's a really great app it's, um, I think it's like $10, it's on Mac, because I only use Apple products. Um, I'm not a snob, I just don't like PC. Um, so it's called, what is it called? It's called Self Control. It actually looks like a skeleton. You can download it from the App Store, and what it'll do is it will actually, you can block specific websites. So what I'll do is I'll actually set Self Control the night before for like 14 hours. So that when I get up in the morning and for several hours later, I can't access Gmail, I can't access Facebook, I can't access like any, of those tempting social media sites. So that's a little trick that you can um, that you can download and deploy. It makes a huge difference in terms of your productivity and you can focus on the most important things at hand. So that is the key lesson, guys, is if you wanna be a very productive person, entrepreneur, if you wanna get the success you want in your business, you have to focus on the most important things. And the number one most important thing is your mind, getting that centered, and if you want to focus on exercise first thing in the morning, that's cool as well. And then whatever the first thing you do work-wise in the morning, it's got to be the most important thing that will move your business forward. It's not going to be checking Facebook messages. You can do that later in the day when you have a little bit less mental energy because we only have so much, right? It's like a battery. The more we use, the less we have. So we need to use that mental energy first thing in the morning. Okay, does that make sense? Now, if you guys have enjoyed this, obviously give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends who need to see this. And if you wanna take your health coaching business to the next level, if you wanna attract more clients more predictably, if you want a, a better strategy to help you build a business with a lot less confusion, a lot more clarity, then I invite you to join our free training. It's called the Seven Figure Health Business Blueprint. And we'll include a link for that just below this video. I guarantee it'll be the best 75 minutes you've spent on your business maybe forever, or at least in a very long time. And you'll get some really big um, insights and ahas that I think will make a big difference in your business and obviously in your life as well. So that's all for me this morning. Thank you very much for joining me from beautiful Estapa, Mexico, talking about morning routines. I get to enjoy the morning, sun the morning sunrise. It's absolutely beautiful. Hope you have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you soon.